Hey guys, good morning. Welcome to Nigira Techies. Today I am going to explain how to implement entire architecture in ASP.NET Core MVC version 6.0. So here I listed out all the steps. We can go one by one. First thing is I am going to create the MVC application. And the second thing is I am going to create the required class library projects and make sure I will do the all configuration for implementing our entire architecture and this database I am going to use this SQL server for the connectivity I am going to use this entity framework database first approach and then I am going to fetch the data from our database for the testing purpose and once I have the data I am going to populate everything in the grid that's all about my video plan first let me go to the Visual Studio I am going to create my first project in this file new project I'm going to choose this template is ASP.NET Core App Model View Controller. So I'm going to click this next, then our application name. And then location if required we have to choose, otherwise we can use the same one. And the next step is we have to select the framework. The default latest version is selected. If required you have to choose the lower version also. Anyway, the prepared version is .NET Core 6.0 only and if required we have to use this configuration of HTTPS and let me create it. So probably it will take some time for creating our project. Okay, we have created our project. Next I am going to implement this entire architecture. For that I am going to create for our first project. So here the template I am going to choose class library and this project name is data access layer so here also I'm going to use this dotnet core framework only okay we have done the same way I'm going to create two more project the second one is for our business layer The steps are almost the same only and the third one is for our global entity okay now we have our three projects now I am going to make the reference so the first thing is this global entity it is used for all the projects so first I am going to include in our data access layer so in this data access layer I am going to include this global entity next in this business layer so in this business layer I am going to include this data access layer and also this global entity and final one is our main project I mean our web application here I am going to provide the project reference for all our applications okay we have done let me rebuild it okay we have done the basic configuration now let me move on our data access layer so in this data access layer I am going to include this entity framework so before that I have to include some reference here so we can add our reference from our NuGet packages the first one is Microsoft entity framework core Okay, we have included and the second one is Microsoft Entity Framework Dart Tools. And the final one is Microsoft Entity Framework Dart SQL Server.
okay the installation is completed now in our startup project I am going to install this Microsoft Entity Framework Core dot design okay it's installed and uh, we have one more important uh, library that is uh, racer dot runtime compilation so once we are running our application if you are doing any changes in our HTML side so basically we have to save the application and uh, once you are refreshed it is supposed to be reflected but if you are not included this runtime compilation so every time you have to run the application okay so let me include it Razor dot runtime completion. Okay, we have installed all the required libraries. Let me rebuild our application. Okay, this is fine. Now I am going to open this program.cs file. Here I am going to include this runtime completion. Add racer runtime completion. Okay, okay, this is fine. Now let me move on our data access layer. So here I am going to create one new folder. This is for interface. Because in this .NET Core dependency injection is the inbuilt functionality, so we have to use interfaces. So let me create this folder and we have one existing class that I'm going to change the name employee DA okay okay fine so similar way I am going to create one interface also okay our interface also ready okay great the next thing is I am going to generate this database model using some scaffold command now let me go to the package manager console so here I am going to provide our scaffold command and the project is data access layer see the command scaffold database context here we have to provide our connection string so the server name and database I am using this trusted connections proof for the Windows authentication after that we have to provide this package name SQL server and this output directory so the class files are generated in this model folder that's what I have given like this so actually I'm ha not having this folder so this command basically will create the folder also so let me execute this command first okay great our model is generated we have some warnings so it's regarding our connection string uh, that we supposed to move in our app settings.json file so currently it is available here so now what I'm going to do in our app settings.json file here I'm going to create this connection string setting so the connection string name then we have to provide the value so value is already available in this uh, land db context so let me take this one okay we have added and uh, let me remove this section basically it's not required okay uh, our first step is ready now I am going to do some implementation in our employee DA so here first thing is we how to inject this land db context so let me take this namespace and also I'm going to use our global entity okay this is fine <coughs> and let me create the constructor
here I am going to inject our land DB context first let me declare it private or read only so we have the suggestion let me use this tab control okay the injection is completed so the second step is I am going to create one function or also method Okay, our method is ready but here I am going to include our global entity so let me create one global entity for this imply so let me take all the properties then in our global entity we have one CS file so using this one I am going to create our class employee So here I'm going to include all the properties. Okay. Now let me close it. So instead of this table employee, I am going to use our global entity. Okay, fine. So next we have to convert this table employee class into employee class. So for that we can use this uh, mapper option. Otherwise we have to do in the manual way. So for this video I'm going to do in this manual so this mapper I will cover in some other videos so if data not equal to null and the data dot count greater than zero I am going to create one for loop Okay, fine and also I am going to create one object so let me return it now I am going to assign values into our employee object So we can assign all the values one by one. The first one is code. So defaultly the suggestion is coming. So this is one of the core advantage using Visual Studio 2022. Okay, we have included all the fields. Now let me do the declaration in our interface. So instead of this internal, I am going to make this into a public and it's expecting this declaration for our global entity. Okay, now we have done in our database side and then we have to register uh, this interface in our program.cs file I mean in our startup application so after this runtime compilation I'm going to use this builder dot services add scoped option so here first thing is we have to provide our interface and also we have to include the required namespaces so using data dot 
access layer okay so first I am going to include this interface I employee DA and then the implemented class employee DA okay okay we have registered but I am not implemented this class that's what I am getting this error okay now it's fine I hope the issue also got resolved yes okay and the second thing is already we have moved our connection string into our app settings.json file so then we have to inject this connection string also for our LAN DB context so let me register that also so builder.services dot add database context so database conduct is LAN DB okay well, it's not coming let me verify it okay the namespace is data access layer dot models okay let me include it DB and then we have to pass our connection string here use SQL server I think it's expecting some uh, namespace so let me check the potential fix okay using Microsoft entity framework core okay it's fine okay here we have to provide our connection string name so the connection string name is available in this app settings.json file let me take this one okay, this is fine now we are good with our uh, data access layer now let me move on our business layer so in this business layer first I am going to change this class name and here also I am going to create one interface so initially let me make one folder and then we have to create our interface okay in this employee BC first I am going to create one constructor so in the constructor I am going to inject our employee DB that means our uh, data access layer so first let me declare it private read only and let me include this in namespaces also data dot access layer and we have to include our global entity also so interface is i employee db so employee da okay this is fine okay the dependency injection is completed now let me create the function here so if you have any business related logics we can include here currently I don't have nothing so I'm going to just return it So this dot employee DA dot get employees okay and then let me include this declaration in our interface side 
and here also we have to include the particular namespace so let me copy it okay the issue got resolved and let me include or else let me implement here okay we have done in our business access layer and make sure we have to include or else we have to register in our start of project so the interface name is i employee bc okay i have to include this namespace also oh it's not coming let me check it yes business layer Okay, this is fine. I employee BC. The implemented class is employee BC. Okay. Okay. Now we have completed our data access layer and the business layer also. Now what I'm going to do uh, using these functions, I'm trying to fetch the data in our controller. So currently we have this home controller only. Here I'm going to create one more controller that is for our employee. So the controller name is MT. I am going to choose this MT template only. So name is employee. Let me remove this one. It's fine. And then I am going to create the required view. So right click. We have this add view option. Here also I am going to use this uh, MT template only. Okay, this is generated. So here I am going to provide one text. Now I am going to run this application. So before that, uh, let me include the link also. So in this views folder, we have this layout. This layout page is nothing but our uh, master page in this ASP.NET application. So here the action is index and the controller name is employee and the link name is employee. Now I am going to run this application. We can see the current output. So after that, uh, we have to do our further changes. Okay, see so now uh, we have to see our initial pages. And if I'm clicking this employee link, okay, the welcome to employee message is coming. And let me do a small change. Okay, so now the text change is automatically reflected. So that's why I have included this runtime completion. Okay. So now let's verify this uh, data whether it's coming or not. So for that also, I'm going to create one constructor first. So in this our controller, employee controller. And then here I'm going to inject this business layer so make sure we have to include as the reference first and also our global entity it's required on now let me declare our business layer here private trade only for completing our dependency injection I employ BC so here we have this suggestion using this tab control okay we have done and the next thing is so inside our uh, index action method I'm going to declare one list 
list employee so this dot employee bc dot get employee method okay here I am going to return this employee information let me put on breakpoint also I am going to run the application once again now I am going to click this employee link ok we are getting this error format of the initialization string does not conform to the specific starting string of 0 so that means we have some issue about in our connection string let me verify it so in this app settings we have included server database yeah, it's fine only and this connection string name let me copy this one so in our program.cs file okay here I have missed actually I just provided the connection string name so basically I have to access the connection string okay let me do this one so builder dot configuration and get connection string so here only I have to provide our connection string name now this is fine I hope this will resolve our issue let me verify once again so let me click this employee link once again okay look like we are getting some data yeah so the count is 14 so we are getting this data okay so now the data is coming so let me remove all the breakpoints so now what I'm going to do uh, in our employee controller I'm going to create one table make sure I will bind all the data here okay so already we have created one view index.cshtml so here I am going to use this model at model so actually we are returning one list only so let me use the same one here and then our class name okay our model is ready now let me move on the design side so already the bootstrap is included here I am going to move this title here employee listing okay and then I am going to create one table first so in this table I am going to provide the classes table and then table bordered so these are the bootstrap class only next to this t head so in this t head let me include on class bg dark and the text should be white So totally we have five columns let me include one by one and the third one is email and the fourth one is phone and the final one is destination or else we can say rule that also fine now in this 
table body so here I'm going to use this for each concept where item in our actual model so in this item we have the data so we already know the class so directly we can use the class also so here I am going to create this tr tag first and then td let html display for okay I just included one field let me verify if it is working fine we have to include all other fields also so let me go to our employee menu okay great uh, our code is loaded fine so similar way we have to include all the records so let me copy the view and I am going to include five times The second one is name. So the final one is destination. Okay. So let me save it. Okay, it's loaded fine, and we can see all the records are loaded. And here I'm going to include one more column that is for the action. So if you include it, put some good luck and fill. So the first one is edit okay and the class names are button button primary so it will give the blue color so the similar way I'm going to include one more button so this is for remove okay so this one I'm going to provide the color is red color so I'm going to change the class name into danger okay this is fine let me save it and also in the menu so menus are available in this layout side so initially they are provided this BG white so I am going to change this into BG primary okay and this links they already provided this text dark so I am going to change this into text white okay let me include the next two links also so these are not a mandatory thing for uh, providing some good look and feel that's what I have included like this now I'm going to refresh this screen once again okay see the look and feel so we have the clear menu and uh, the listing screen we have loaded all the data so now we are in the end of the video so in my next video I am going to implement this edit function and this remove for this table also I am going to include this uh, data table options like a sorting pagination and search option so that everything we can see in our next video Still, if you have any doubts or clarification about this particular video, please post in the comment box and also please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching.